beautiful day april fool's day although this isn't a joke <laughs> uh i suppose it, some people might consider this little load of scrap a joke that's just a little load of garbage got a ceiling fan a garbage disposal bag of everyone's favorite cans got an old uh, this piece of stereo equipment and a uh, vacuum cleaner handle made out of aluminum more cans some speakers and down in there we got some some tidbits some short steel some of this some of that i'm gonna get down to the scrap yard and i'm gonna sort this out absolutely beautiful day april 1st april 1st watch out out there for breaking your toes with the ceiling fan <laughs> watch out out there although when you see this video it's probably gonna be too late watch out for april fool's jokes particularly if you're watching youtube bitcoin oh, some people make make jokes <laughs> it's really not a joke with someone next april fool's day video might cost you some money always be aware april fool's day Got here is this can, and I'll fix that in a second. Here we've got a stainless steel pot, a little piece of aluminum, a little piece of stainless with copper wrapped around it. Um, this aluminum piece and these transformers, chunky little transformers. This little electric motor in that fan came out of these uh, cheapy little stereo units like this one my last video i'm gonna get to that here in a second i just want to show you this real quick this is low grade insulated wire so uh it might not be quite enough to weigh it, it's close to a pound but uh with low grade wire where i live you can keep the ends on there with number two insulated wire anything above low grade you need to uh, remove the plugs this is a like, stereo speaker wire. That's not bad little wire. And then, I mean, it doesn't weigh a lot, but it's got a fair amount of copper in it. And then the vacuum cleaner cord and <clears throat> some other copper insulated in there. And then over here, I got some aluminum breakage. Things like this iron with the aluminum plate. This came out of one of those stereos as well. Piece of aluminum. I, I could clean it up a little bit if I want to. Take these screws out and stuff. Garbage disposal handle off of a <clears throat> vacuum cleaner. This down here is the stand off of a flat screen television. It's got an aluminum plate in there. I could clean that up a little bit too if I wanted to. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Just it's probably got about 10 or 12 screws in there <clears throat> so ceiling fan I could clean this up as well if you want to clean stuff up you can a lot of people out there don't be under the impression that you have to clean stuff up um, you could just take a whole load of this junk in and just get rid of it at the scrapyard if you want you know as opposed to taking it to like to the landfill where you got to pay money you could take a big load of everything without putting any time into it and just, just give you like a tin price for everything but uh, if you want to get into this a little more, you can start cleaning stuff up. And... This yard used to just take this as electric motor, the whole thing. But now you have to take off the, the tin casing and the blades and this. And, you know, there's some decent electric wires in there. If you want to. But uh, I want to show you. Let's see. And this is tin shred. Thing of nails here little can of nails 
staples and screws. Lots of that could probably go with short steel in the store with my tin shirt. This, this came out of one of those cheapy, that's a piece. That aluminum piece down there was connected to this. I took that off. And then we got tin cans and magnets fell out of these speakers when I busted them open. Not those speakers, different set. And uh, this is my old microphone I used. My cats knocked it off my desk and it broke. It started sounding awful. So that <laughs> I'm tired of cheap stuff. I was thinking about making a cheap stuff video because I got a new microphone and the the arm, the boom arm I bought for my new microphone is already broken because I used cast aluminum to secure it to the desk on a big steel boom arm and it's already snapped and my office chair is snapped, cast aluminum snapped and my tripod I bought for the camera, the plastic snapped. And it's just <laughs> this thing can't fall off a desk more than once or twice. And, that's not a cheap microphone. Anyways, uh, more tin cans in there. Tin cans, soup cans. Laid off my pickles. Speakers, and then uh, this is like a singing machine. It's got a lot of plastic on it. Some guys might not take that, but it's full of electronics and some tin metal and stuff. Right, let's get to this thing. I want to show you, show you street scrapper ways here. That one's got some spunk to it. That one's built a little differently. It's got a nice strong steel plate it's sitting on. But uh, <laughs> see that transformer? That's the biggest transformer that was in those stereos. That's where these came from. If you want to, there's nice transformers in there. Not too hard to get out. I'll just throw these cheap secret circuit boards in here with the tin shed. So to get this transformer out, there's four screws. You might have a scrapyard that might just give you a transformer price for that, you know? It's kind of it's kind of got a lot of dirty stuff on it. That's a big plate of aluminum. There's another electric motor in that fan there. Like the one I showed you before.
it's that easy. And then you can continue to break this kind of stuff down if you want. If you got, you know, if you want to make a little business out of this or you got time to do stuff and you can definitely make a lot more money. Uh, if you got time to deal with, lots of people don't have time to sit down and do stuff like that. But uh, I'm just going to throw that in my tin shed. It's not a bad little plate for aluminum. It probably doesn't weigh quite a pound though, so you know. I'm probably losing out on 10 cents, 15 cents by not cleaning that up. But you know, I mean, I'm also five minutes ahead of where I would be if I did do that. So I'm well, not five minutes, a couple minutes. Hey, look at that. There's a disc in there. <laughs> hey, there's a bunch, a bunch of discs in there. Look at that. Huh. Kind of interesting. Nice little circuit board there. There's a link in the description to boardsort.com if you want to get into selling these decent quality circuit boards. That would be a circuit board that you could send to boardsort.com. Um, this, this is just kind of a piece of plastic. But, Uh, Boardsort.com is an interesting place if you want to check it out. So I guess that's going to do it. Like I was saying, as, as the prices of scrap go up, the more more practical, practical and more money you can make by uh, tearing stuff down like that. We'll see what this is worth. I didn't have the heart to scrap that. <laughs> That'll go to the free tail store, little cast aluminum car. And I had, oh yeah, I had this piece of short steel here. And then I had uh, <clears throat> this handle out of a toilet. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Somebody's got a sawzall going over there. See, I'm not the only one that does this here. <laughs> Other customers coming. There's a customer in the parking lot around a sawzall over there. Chopping something up. It's loud, huh? That's a piece of brass that toilet flush your arm. Piece of brass. And then that's a cast aluminum piece, so I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that. This is a little piece of brass there. So like sometimes, you know, they might give me dirty brass for this. And then this junk wire, they might just give me like a pound pound of uh like aluminum or something for that you know because it's not really enough to weigh on its own these two categories so it just depends on what, what scrapyard does get familiar with scrapyards but uh, generally when you go to the scrapyard you want to have your stuff fairly sorted out so when you go pull up to the scale you can just get it done but uh i hope that sawzall is not ruining the video I had this piece of copper too. That's not really enough to weigh. I'm gonna hold that back. Bring it in another day. But this is my little toolbox down here. Put this guy in there. Now I'm curious. What's he doing? What's he doing? Catalytic converter. Yeah. Here's the ticket. Eleven dollars nine cents. Also known as twelve dollars nine cents. Three pounds number two insulated copper wire for three fifteen. Nineteen pounds aluminum breakage for a dollar ninety. Two pounds clean aluminum cans for a dollar. Forty one pounds tin. Two dollars five cents. A pound of low grade insulated copper wire for fifty cents. That was that dirty brass and that junk wire combined. Pound of uh, low grade insulated copper wire, 50 cents. Pound of stainless steel, 40 cents. Pound of short steel, 9 cents. 12 pounds electric motors, that was those transformers out of the stereo. $3 even. <clears throat> Look at that, 25 cents a pound for uh, electric motors. They call transformers at this scrapyard, they call them electric motors. Um, 
it's not bad man 50 cents for low grade wire it's wonderful we are approaching it's kind of kind of an ominous sign maybe though because the last time scrap metal prices we're approaching the good old days back in 2008 2009 when scrap scrap prices like 60 cents here for aluminum 30 cents for electric motors we're only a nickel off of that number one copper was in the mid and three uh mid and high three dollar range we're approaching that uh cans are 50 cents back then cans i think were up to like 65 cents and uh, we're approaching those levels but that was right before the economic crash so uh hey, there's one of my dog food cans one of my pieces of metal or electric bar let's get this out here But uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know if to say yay. Scrap metal prices are approaching those basically close to all-time highs as far as I know. I haven't really looked into it a lot. But I'm pretty sure it was all-time highs for some of that stuff. Um, right before that uh, banking failure, mortgage, whatever they were doing, just... Uh, been making those bitcoin street videos and i've been learning a lot about the financial system and basically the entire global financial system is basically just a ponzi scheme um it's pretty wild man it's not <laughs> what i'm learning to be fact now is nothing that they taught us in school i can tell you that much or at least they, they left part of it out the part about it being fairy dust but uh that's the thing about Bitcoin, it's, it's hard. It's the hardest money humans have ever known. But I don't want to get into that. But anyways, yay, scrap prices are going up high. But why, why, why is it like that? You know, why, why are prices increasing? Is that actually a good thing? We're going to find out. But the uh, last time they were up this, this high, uh, maybe 20% higher from now, economic crash. So anyways, I hope someone out there learned something and... Uh, as always, thanks for watching.